cataractcoach.com, phacomorphic glaucoma, and a shallow anterior chamber. The AC depth is less than a millimeter. Tough case. You can see there's the white cataract. 50-year-old female presented here. Light perception vision for about the last week. You can see on this imaging here how shallow the anterior chamber is. 827 microns. So certainly the issue you're having here, the swollen lens is causing some angle closure here. So we got to get the lens out. We got to give this patient a pseudophagia. That's the best gift of all. So there's the tripan blue dye. Putting some viscoelastic in there, trying to deepen it up a little bit. Here you go. Needle decompression. 26 gauge needle going bevel down, aspirating, trying to get some of that liquefied lens material out. That'll give you a lot more room. And now let's see, getting a rexus done. I like the idea of using a cystotome for that rexus. Ooh, even better. Micro forceps. Notice how this is all done through the paracentesis. So these tiny forceps, which are probably 25 gauge, you're able to get a nice rexus done. Hey, I got to remind you, check out cataractcoach.com, the website. Did you know we have a free PDF book? And we've got a 25-part curriculum series, and we're on social media, and check out our podcast. Okay, back to the case here. So there's the Rex. It looks a little small for my flavor, but probably okay. Here now, another para. Here's the main incision. And let's see. Just using an aspirator to get out, or irrigator, to get out as much of that fluid as you can. So, oh, what happened there, though? Zoner defect, zoner dialysis in that one quadrant. So now, CTR going in, manually placing this just with forceps. Being very cautious. There you go. That's going in pretty nicely. But look how much the rexus moves. Look where the position of the rexus is now. Wowza. All right. So now we got a CTR in. Now trying to remove the nucleus. Now let's see. You're going to chop it, looks like. Vacuum into the probe. Here's the chopper. And not too dense of a nucleus, which is great. That's going to make life a lot easier here. Now it's a little bit of a small rexus, so don't try to prolapse the nucleus out of the bag here. Nice, good chops here. Beautiful, good rotation. Faco probe going in to hold it. Chopper working beautifully. A little vertical chop action here. Very nice. And then now you can start removing these pieces. So obviously when we take out this extra thick human crystalline lens, this cataract, and replace it with a thin eye well, you can have a lot better result for the patient here. You're going to resolve the issue. Oh, what is that? Vitreous strand already noted. So there's some significant zonal dialysis here because the vitreous is coming around it. So... Getting the nucleus out of the eye here. And let's see, we'll have to clean up. Finish the phaco. we got to clean up that prolapse vitreous. You have to maybe put some triamcinolone and see where it is. I'm watching the video for the first time with you, as you know. So now aspirating out the cataract pieces looks pretty good here. There's some HPMC on the cornea to give you a better visualization. Pieces all come up pretty easily. There we go. And now keeping the... I like that idea. Don't let the AC collapse. Okay, a couple little pieces left. Maybe a little strand of vitreous there. And so a little, okay, cut it with scissors. You can definitely do that. I definitely want to put some triamcinolone here, though. Get some staining, see if there's how much vitreous there is. If you just have one little strand coming around the area of zonal dialysis, yes, you can just put the micro scissors in the eye and just amputate that one little arm or tongue of um, vitreous. Here comes the lens, single piece lens going in the capsule bag. There we go, nicely placed. And then now, still a little bit of lens material to remove there. That can be removed very easily. Getting that, um, oh, the trailing half one of the sulcus, and now I'm pushing it back in the bag. Is it in the bag yet? Mm, we're getting there. Got to be careful here. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a bulky lens for me. I would have preferred a, a simpler design, hydrophobic acrylic lens with smaller, thinner haptics. Would have been a lot easier. But now here we go, cleaning up the rest of that little bit of lens material here. And getting that out of the eye, just pulling it. I like that idea too, just get it out of the eye. And then now cutter for that vitreous again. Here's the vitrectomy cutter going in there. Again, triumphant will make it a lot easier, but that's a tough case. Very nicely managed. A lot of times these patients with the phacomorphic glaucoma can have very weak zonas. Oh, now that finally, now the lens gets into the capsule bag. Remember, that is definitely a small rexus. That's the tough part with the baby rexus. Makes it very difficult to get the lens in if you have one happy in the sulcus. So now cleaning up a little bit of that lens material and the vitreous cutter here going in there for the vitrectomy and now aspirating out a little bit of lens cortex remaining. So in this case, you took out a crystalline lens, a cataract that was at least probably five millimeters thick, replaced with a man-made lens that's a millimeter thin, so that solves the issue of the, the closed angle and the glaucoma. So triamcinolone goes in the eye. Good job there. This is a tough case. So remember, patients who come with phacomorphic glaucoma and that chronic angle closure, or even recent acute angle closure, 
that can induce zonular weakness there. And so you saw it here, that zonular dialysis, beautifully managed by our surgeon here. Great job. More triumphs than alone. A little by myotic agent being placed in the eye as well. And then finally finish that case. Very nicely done. No victors in the AC. Beautiful result post-op. Patient will do great. Hey, remember, check out cataractcoach.com, the website. Free cataract coach PDF book. Free curriculum. 25-part series to learn FACO. Free daily email. And, of course, our awesome Cataract Coach podcast, available every week, a new episode every single week. Check it out and tell your friends.